What are you doing New Year's? New Year's Eve. Hello and what a great day to sell something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B and I'm so excited to be back with you today talking about NYE 12 by 12. If you have never joined us for this event before, it is on New Year's Eve. And my idea behind this, when I started it in 2020, I did the um, New Year's Eve of 2020 leading into 2021. I picked 12 new projects that I wanted to start. I had decided my whip pile was just growing and growing and growing and growing, and I wasn't making phenomenal progress on it, um, or at least what I considered to be phenomenal progress. So modeled off of some, um, some friends that I know that they had not, they had challenged themselves to not start anything for a year and then gave themselves an open window. I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So I decided to not start anything new and give myself a window on New Year's Eve to start 12 new projects. I start one every hour from noon until midnight. So we start 12 projects by 12 midnight. Super fun. I have loved doing it every year. It has taken different shapes every year, but I have consistently started 12 new projects every year since then. And it's a, it's the camaraderie of having other stitchers do something like this with you is a lot of fun. I'll go, I'll go live on Instagram a few times. Might even have some friends join me uh, here and there and everywhere. Um, if you and your friends want to create a Zoom um, where you guys just kind of hop on and stitch, you know, this started because the kids and I are home. We don't really do anything for New Year's Eve. Tech Guy works retail, so he's pretty much gone most of the holidays. And so I thought, what is something fun? The kids like to, you know, just take the day off and they'll play video games. We might play some board games and things like that. But what could I look forward to? And so we started this. So maybe you and your friends want to create a Zoom. You might be open to having other people join your Zoom and make new friends. If that's the case, then then promote that on your Instagram or your Facebook page. Um, it's just, it's a lot of fun to tailor it and make it whatever you would like to make it. So last year we did Team Whips versus Team New Starts. That was a ton of fun. It was really great to see those out in the community who maybe chose 12 whips to work on a little bit, one every hour. Um, you might choose six new starts and six new whips, or I'm sorry, six new starts and six old whips that you have. Um, but this year, as I was preparing, we I actually had this theme the day after uh, New Year's Eve. So New Year's Day this, this year of 2023, I thought, oh, this is gonna be our theme, I think. And I just kind of had it in the back of my head. I had teased it a little bit. Um, I had gone on a retreat in January to Stitch Away and I teased it a little bit just to see how people would react and, and a lot of people were like, oh, that's a good one. So you might have seen the intro. If I did the intro the way I would like to, um, this year's theme is going to be magazines. And I just, you know, as stitchers, we're really good at collecting things and building our stash. So you might have magazines that look like this, right? You might have magazines that even look like this, that are tabbed. You've like marked out things you want to do. You may have magazines that look like this and zero tabs whatsoever. What I want you to do is pull out the, that stash. You know, we, I said, we as, we as stitchers are really good at collecting things and let's put those things to use. And the thing I love about this is that it gets us into those magazines. It gets us using the subscription that we paid for. Or maybe you have free charts that you've gotten as um, emailed or as designers have emailed them to you. We have an amazing community of designers and most of them do uh, newsletters and we'll send out charts as thank yous for subscribing to them. Uh, maybe you've collected some charts at a retreat um, in a swag bag. Pull those out. Um, the thing that is most um, important to me is we can't all go to retreats right? We can't all travel and see the wonderful amazement that are retreats, but we can all stitch from home because that's what we love to do. And so I want to encourage you to pick some charts that you'd like to stitch along and let's just do a community wide event like 12 by 12 to where we're all just kind of stitching and hanging out uh, through the day. So it can be simple. 
I can pull out maybe this and look through what I tabbed in 2019 that I thought was cute and, th and make some plans to stitch it. Um, I mean, there are some adorable charts. And here's the thing to remember. I mean, are we kidding? Look how sweet some, of, look at that Santa right there. Look how sweet some of these are. Um, it's just, it's a fun way to utilize things that we already have in our home. So that's how I'd like you to think about uh, New Year's Eve 12 by 12 this year. You might pull out Punch Needle and Primitive. I have physical ones, but then, excuse me, I also have digital copies as well. So I just want to encourage you, use things that you already have. If you pull a pattern from a favorite magazine, pull threads and fabric that you have in your stash already. Um, if you don't have those things in your stash, support an LNS that will ship to you. If you don't have an LNS nearby that you can go visit, you can find ones that will call. My LNS is always in stitches, uh, which is about 45 minutes to an hour away from me, depending on traffic. And um, they ship all over the country. And so find ways that you can make uh, this event fun for you. Speaking of my LNS, I visited there earlier this weekend and they had such a treat for me to share with you. So upon arrival, I met Peter. He is always in stitches. Um, he's their Instagram guy and he was actually stitching. I'll show it in my next floss too, but he was stitching on something beautiful when we got there. And I said, oh my goodness, what is that? He shared it with me. I bought it. I was fully enabled by the fabric he was using and everything. And so I bought that. And he said, while you're here, we have some things for you to share. So he had stacks of magazines. These are old issues of Better Homes and Garden, Just Cross Stitch. Uh, there are some older issues in here of um, For the Love of Cross Stitch. Look at these snowmen. This is from January of 2003. Look at those snowmen. So they gave me these to just share with you all. And I would love to do that. Look at this, Santa. So um, I would like to pick five winners. And I'm just going to put a bunch of these in the mail. Just I'm just going to pick three or four of them, stick it in an envelope, and mail them to you. If you'd like to pull out patterns that you can use for uh, New Year's Eve, I'd love to have you join along. If you would like to win one of those. And then Always and Stitches also gave me some cute little giveaways as well. So if you would like to win uh, just a New Year's Eve package from me, I would like for you just to comment uh, down below what you might, um, how, let's see, how many magazines do you think that you have in your stash? Let's comment that down below. And I'm just going to randomly pick a few of them and send some packages out. I have uh, some of these 2003, some of them are last year's. And then um, I've got some fun giveaways that I'm going to keep um, for the event itself as well. I'm so excited to be doing this again. I'm excited to, um, I don't know, just have something forward, something to look forward to as we close out 2023 and start our journey into 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in the hive today and I'll see you later.